All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here with Donald Woodard, the winner of the RC Cab Over. He was just up in Illinois. We got a hold of him. You're actually from Cape Coral, right? Yep. We have lots of fans in Florida, and it happened to work out. You're on your way yeah. home. You figured you'd swing over here and pick up your new prize. So, I mean, what do you think? Is it a, it's massive. Yeah. It's a lot bigger than it looks. Yeah, so the trailer is all aluminum. Everything is like a working little truck. And everything is detachable right here. So now you got to get some, like, you got any RC cars already? Yeah, I got the 450. Oh, really? There oh, that'll yeah, fit right perfectly, yeah. So you can haul that around. I have to get some RC construction equipment now. The yeah. time is Tonka toys on it. Oh, there you go, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, check it out. Everything is it's got a little three speed gearbox transmission in there. Sweet. Real working rear ends and everything. <laughs> so, we've got you brand new batteries here. <coughs> and a brand new charger. So you've got everything here you need to play with it. I mean, the, the LiPo batteries put in here last like 30 to 45 minutes. Okay. So is it 3S? 2S. 2S. Yeah, because okay. it's brushed. All right. So yeah, brushed, 2S, RC cab over. Awesome. And what did you buy? You bought a t-shirt? Sure. Yep. Just a simple t-shirt, guys. So we've got an even bigger giveaway coming next. So <laughs> make sure you enter for that one. I appreciate you coming to pick no that up. No problem, man. thank you. Hope you enjoy it. Never expected it. <laughs> All right, guys, we are here at Texas Motor Speedway test driving, doing the ride and drive. Ryan's riding. I'm driving the new Peterbilt 589. We are in a, was this a 78 inch raised roof? 72 inch raised roof. God, there's so much headroom up here compared to my truck I've got now. What do you think? I like it. Are they all going to have factory installed CBs? Uh, I'm sure it's, a, it's an option code, I would imagine. Gotcha. Cool. Dash is much more operator friendly, that's for sure. Hey, I like the uh, back there the what? actual like thermostat. This thing's finally got a thermostat. Yes. That is huge because my truck is always like ice cold or hot. So, all right, here we go. Let me put it on you. Oh, it's Girl. got a what? it's got a hydraulic clutch pedal too now. That's crazy. minutes for 30 seconds 30 seconds I don't hate it but the hoods are take a lot of getting used to for sure just how wide it is the hoods are all the same width 
Um, I think the short nose is probably different, obviously. But. With why it's just different length. There we go. We'll go get in line for another one. Thanks, yeah, sir. You bet. Thank y'all. Or wait, you're driving. No, uh, I'm, I'm just riding. All right, guys, the truck we're driving next is serial number 0001 of the Peterbilt 389X. I'm really surprised they have this truck out here for everybody to drive, and I'm taking advantage of that. This thing is super cool, number 0001. We're just at home in this rig. I think this one will likely stay with it, Peter. Bill, I'm just so surprised they have it out here. I would have had this thing really locked away. So. You know, I've heard some similar comments too. And honestly, we love seeing everybody get excited about driving number one. You know, that's really cool. And it's, it's fun for us to see that and let other people enjoy the truck. I seen it the first time in the uh, factory tour whenever we went. Gosh, like three or four months yeah. ago, something like that, sitting inside. That'd be like the road, there's a road speed limiter that if you want to keep it at a certain speed, um, it's kind of a little bit more. It's of a pack car thing. Too. Yeah, it's not the summit. Yeah. 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 If there's one thing I could recommend is if y'all could have some different backgrounds on the screen, that'd be cool. Like customizable backgrounds. Yeah. Okay. What would you like to see? Something just, like, just something different, you know, like, I just think that'd be really cool. Okay. Well, that's good feedback. I'm talking to the right guy for that. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm in the strategic planning group. For yeah. If, if y'all, because obviously, you know, everything can change. Like, I've got like, a 389 with the new dash. And uh -huh. If there was a way, I know maybe not uploading your own photo or something like that, obviously, but there is something, some other kind of, like, background that was more like... The, yeah. Onto this, or okay. So you can scroll through that because it's already, you know, there's so much you can do in there already. Yeah, that is, that is, that is one of the benefits of having the screen there. Right? There is like a way to just change the, you know, I don't know. It's more as like a steel looking. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I could take that back to the group for sure. I think that'd be really because y'all guys did all the programming on this yeah. yourselves, right? I'm assuming. Yeah. So yeah. Surely should be. Yeah, we can, we, we'll have a different one for like the battery electric truck to look different. Yeah. And so yeah. there's no reason why. Like, like if you ever get like a. Um, you know, like the Dodge pickups have like different back, different color themes you could do. Okay. That'd be really cool. Nice. Are the new 589s, are the, the gauges and stuff, is it still that old, ugly orange color when they light up? The amber? Yeah. It, they are amber. Um, I believe we're transitioning to white. Yes. Right. It's definitely. I don't know what the timing is on that. There's other things going on there. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks Appreciate you guys ride. coming out. Uh, Alright, we got a first time 18 wheeler driver here. Oh, I don't want to be videoed. <laughs> I want to 
See the difference back here, Ryan? Look. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Double bunk. See, this is nice. Is it's a like, bathroom back there? I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll cut a hole in the floor. All right. Fridge. Here. Check this so out. So this is a uh, Packard 12-speed. All right. It's a transmission we developed with Eaton. It's, uh, you just turn that forward to drive. Turn it forward. Mm -hmm. Your brakes on. Oh, I see. There's your gear indicator right there. It's going to start out in third gear. Okay. So hit the brake. It's got urge to move. You can let off the brake and we'll uh, uh, Check how it starts to roll, just to get a feel for the it. Mirrors, uh, that's that. cool. Yeah, you'll see more out of that than you will out of the mirror yeah, for that's sure. Cool. So you'll have to keep the mirror just for uh, like legality reasons, or I think that is a, a DOT regulation. Yeah. They can't just have electronic. Same with like steering. They can't. Just, it has to be coupled physically. No hydraulic steering. Or anything. This is a Packard transmission, too. You said. Yeah, it's an MX13 455 horse. So the Packard 12. -speed. steering assist right now um, on full, I wanted to turn it off. You still have some assist, but... Um, so this has lane keep also, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, I see. Yeah, that. and that was developed basically as a precursor to that. But yeah, I it, felt it pulled to the right while ago before you turned that off. Yeah, it takes quite a bit of... So what you say, push this forward? Pull back. Pull down. You got nervous for a minute. <laughs> just uh, regular old whatever. Just regular conventional power steering. Okay. And this one is full electric? No, it's assist. It's oh, it's assist. Yeah, it's, okay. yeah. It's torque overlay, so it's it's yeah. helping. It's like clock it it up shifts or something when you let out of it before the brake engages. Yeah, that's it. It does that? Yeah. That's, that's right. Okay. But then when the brake engages, it'll you'll see it drop down. So yeah. Two or three at a time. Jeez. That is aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. This is our spot right here, right? Yep. Yeah, you got two reverse gears on this transmission. It's this thing is very a roomy. Start assist if you, if you need it. Look at that, man. If so only you could new digital dash. step into this truck and it'd be a 389 or 589 with this much room, that'd be cool. Well, and so the 589 is this cab. Right? Yeah, so yeah, for sure. one meter width now. Just doesn't have the integrated high roof. Of course, yeah. So these don't have park, it's just reverse drive and neutral? Yep. Just the brakes always park. Okay. Yep. First thoughts, are you ready to be a trucker? I felt real judged. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be looking at us funny now, walking away from this <laughs> thing. Where's our bud lights at? God, stop. Well, folks, we're all done driving trucks. We're gonna go around here to the other side where the truck show is and find Brian, but we're driving through the, the tunnel here. Check this out. There we go, now we can see. <laughs> this is awfully tight for semis I have to drive through for sure. 